We come to thee. Amen. Good evening, everyone. We welcome you to the Hope United Church of Christ this evening. I am Pastor Dawn Jefferson. I am here with my friend and colleague, Senior Pastor Reverend Amber Henry Neuroth, and we are honored that you chose to spend this Blue Christmas service with us. We gather this evening in the presence of God. For the most part, Christmas is a time of celebration and joy. For others, however, this is a difficult time of year, sad even. Many people are carrying significant spiritual and emotional weight, grief, loss, depression, anxiety, financial stress, unemployment, financial or housing uncertainty. Some folks have aging parents or sick children or a recent negative health diagnosis, unknown illnesses and known illnesses. The public celebratory tone of the season does not always resonate with many people's personal feelings as we approach Christmas Day. So it is appropriate that the Blue Christmas service occurs during the season of Advent. We are not yet surrounded by the light of Christmas tide. Blue Christmas is set within the solstice often. We're celebrating a little bit early this year. It is a time ahead of us in the darkest night of the year before Christ's light comes. It is placed inside of Advent, inside of the waiting and the hoping and the longing for something beyond this darkness. Tonight, we sit with you inside of Advent, inside of the darkness and the emotions of the winter solstice. In this season, there is not just one emotion. We are not just sad or forlorn. There is also hope. Hope that we won't always feel this way. Joy that there was once a time and presence of lightness. There is the warm glowing ember of the love, the memory of something, some hearth, some fire pit, some embrace that had sustained us in our past. And there is a desire for the rekindling of such a flame in familiar love, in new love, in some future celebration that will remind us that things can be different, if not better. A reminder that weeping may endure for the night, but joy can come in the morning. So we hope that you find some solace for your soul in our gathering this evening. Just to let you know, near the end of our service, we will have a candle lighting ritual. And if you would like to on Zoom, feel free to light a candle in your home um, along with us. Good evening, everyone. Just a few more notes before we begin our worship service. We will be moving through prayers, readings, song, and also moments of silence. And, the, and those will feel long. They're, they're going to be a minute or two minutes. And so it may be uncomfortable or the next reader may think it's time to go, but we really want to hold those silences because silences in the midst of this are kind of like the darkness of Advent. We want to lean into them and learn to walk in the midst of it and develop our other senses in, in that time. So we want to hold that silence. So if you are following a silence, make sure you have allowed that time. And we invite all those online and in the room to feel that and learn to walk in that silence in this time. Also, those online, please remain uh, on mute, but please speak and sing as you uh, want to at home. And now we will begin this blue Christmas service with our call to worship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. 
All around us, lights are lit and carols play. The season heaps joy on us. Yet we who come here, we carry more than joy. We carry loss, worry, grief, and pain. We come weary, seeking rest from expectations. We also seek the Spirit's holy presence to move amongst us and uplift us. We gather together in this time and space by the resilient grace of God. Love that beckons us closer and never lets us go. Please be seated. And we will now observe our first silence. Let us pray. Holy one, you are with us in times of trouble and in times of peace, in times of sorrow and times of joy. When we are unsure of how to continue living and loving, your spirit intervenes with sighs too deep for words. Speak to us now, loving God, comfort us, with your abiding peace. Until the sun rejoice, rejoice in Shall come to Friends, there are still words of assurance. So tonight, we wait with you. We sit with you. In the ministry of presence, we take time to celebrate a kind of kinship in the dark cave of night. We hold each other closer and dare to hold the darkness too, not fearing it, as much as settling with it and remembering that all that dark is not evil or bad. Darkness is inevitable, part of the cycles of seasons and the rhythm of life. Brokenness will happen, illness may come. As a community of faith, we do not deny that hard things might overwhelm us. 
but we proclaim as a community of faith that we are with you. And most importantly, God is with us all. We pray again. God of all, when we feel alone, you draw nearer. We lose, when we lose our footing, you guide us toward a good path. Through the ages, you have promised to be a comfort to your people, and you call us to be a comfort to others. In all our living, may we never lose the memory and connections of our most cherished relationships, and may we feel the courage and strength you offer to us through the support of those who surround us. Thank <laughs> Here, bring your wounded hearts, in if it's hell for anguish. I know sorrow that heaven can give. desolate, Light of the strength, oh, and that's it, faithless and pure. Here speaks the comfort, tenderly saying. Earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot cure. An excerpt by Jennifer Lambert. This night is ours. Here we find refuge from bright lights, holiday songs, celebrations, and the expectations of everyone around us. In this safe place, we can admit our pain, our loss, our fears, and no one will judge us. No one will tell us to be happy or merry. No one will think less of us because we cannot celebrate this season. Above all, no one will find our tears inconvenient or inappropriate. Here, we can pour our hearts out honestly and claim our own kind of meaning from this season. Here we are welcome, even if we're cynical, even if we're angry, even if we scoff at the mention of hope and meaning. Tonight, we can be where we are. We do not need to hide or pretend or feel guilty. Even if our grief, our pain, our anger seems ugly to the world. 
we can release our need to please others and be ourselves. Let us be at peace. We are safe here. We are accepted here. There are no demands. Let us be sanctuary for one another. We say to each other, lay your burdens here. Cast your sorrows into the circle of light. Bask in the warmth that is life. We say to each other, there is more to life than pain. There is more to life than sorrow. Wait for it. Watch for it. Welcome it. And you beneath life's rushing load, whose forms are bending low, toil along the tiring way. With painful steps and slow, look now and hold in us. Come swiftly on the way. Oh, rest beside the weary road. And hear the angels sing. An excerpt from In Flesh by Molly Bolton. They say all is calm and all is bright, but our spirits toss and turn and our hearts are not glad. They say angels echo a joyous strain, but our thoughts are looping on what we have lost. They say a place was made in a manger for a wondrous child, but there are empty spaces in our beds, vacant chairs in our workplaces. We reach the, for the phone to call a familiar voice that will not answer. Our anger points us towards what should not yet be gone. Institutions prize profit over people, Illness and war break bodies and spirits. The last of a species, even now, breathes its final breath. We rage against, against systems that are made for death instead of life. Our grief is love with nowhere to land. We go door to door, but there is no place for it to stay. So we welcome the sun setting early, for only the longest night can tend to this sorrow. Only the bluest hues can meet us in this ache. The collective grief of the world is much, too much to comprehend, so we speak the names of the ones we know. We light candles for all this love we still have burning. We offer this time now to remember. You can speak along with me if you can. We remember that though we have journeyed far and that while lost, we may have turned away from the light, the light has not failed. We remember that though winter be upon us and though the night be dark for longer than we wanted with the turning of the wheel, 
The dawn will come and dawn defeats the darkness who, who shows us the way to the light and who journeys with us into all our tomorrows. We believe in the power of ritual, and tonight, as on each Sunday, we will light candles. For Advent, we light candles, and tonight we light candles together, and we'll give you an opportunity to light your own candle in honor of whatever you decide. So we will pray a litany of loss before and, and as part of that, the big candles will be lit, and then we'll have some time to light our own candles at home and in the room um, for whatever we need more light. So we mourn this night the loss of life. For so many, the pandemic war and poverty have taken loved ones. We mourn the loss of those close to us and those whose names we do not know. We mourn those we love deeply who gifted us with companionship, love, and wisdom. Whether it was this year or 10 years ago, our hearts still miss them being near. We mourn those who perished while working to save other lives. And we mourn the loss, in many cases, of our ability to be with them as they passed, our loss of gathering together for comfort in the ways we needed so much. I invite you to repeat after me. We mourn this loss of life. We honor and remember these beloveds. We pray for comfort and peace. Amen. We mourn this night the loss of livelihoods. For so many, this year has taken the security of food, shelter, care for families, and medical care. We mourn the loss of businesses that have not withstood the circumstances and income that was lost. These were not just economic losses, but deferred dreams born of passion and hard work. We mourn those who find themselves needing to rely on others for help and resources when what they really want to do is to be able to help others. I invite you to repeat after me. We mourn this loss of livelihood. We honor and remember the dreams now deferred. We pray for sustenance and resilience. Amen. We mourn this night the loss of love.
Our society's dilemma, centuries in the making, has created such hatred, suffering, oppression, and ill will. We mourn the loss of those whose lives were lost to brutality and violence. We mourn the loss of our ability to love one another, despite our differences, as beings who deserve to be seen for their inherent beauty and worth. We mourn that Black, Brown, Asian, and Indigenous people have been murdered. Queer and trans bodies have been targeted. Ukrainian and Russian villages bombed. Palestinian and Jewish children have been taken captive. They have suffered in the pandemic, but also through hate crimes, civil war, and rights denied them by failed systems. We mourn the pandemics of racism, patriarchy, and nationalism that still plague the fabric of our communities. I invite you to repeat after me. We mourn this loss of love. We mourn this loss of love. We honor and remember the work of prophets who proclaim justice. We honor and remember we pray for compassion and change. We pray for compassion and change. Amen. We mourn this night the loss of liveliness. For many, this year has robbed us of our energy, our enthusiasm, and our sense of well being. We mourn teachers and leaders, caregivers, and workers who are struggling to help those in their care, themselves exhausted and needing the sustenance they give to others. We mourn the loss of all who are suffering with anxiety and depression, who are finding it difficult to live each day with fullness or to find hope for tomorrow. We mourn those we have lost to suicide. We mourn those who find themselves addicted to substances in order to ease the pain that feels unbearable. We mourn those who are experiencing their place of shelter as an abusive place from which they struggle to escape. I invite you to repeat after me. We mourn this loss of liveliness. This loss of liveliness. We honor and remember that each person is precious and whole. We honor and remember that each person is precious and whole. We pray for recovery and renewed vigor. We pray for recovery and renewed vigor. Amen. Amen. And now we will have a moment of lighting our own lights wherever we mourn a loss uh, that only we know. And we, Bill, would you play us a little music while we light our candles. Please light your candles at home and everyone in the room, you are invited to light the candles on the altar. Thank you. 
Now we will light the fifth candle, just as we do on Christmas Eve. We light this as a sign of our belief. We believe in the light that has come and is coming. This light casts its glow on all the surrounding prayers that we have prayed. This light resides within us, perhaps dim for a time, but always lit, an ember of the holy inside of us. This light reminds us that we are not alone. Let us pray. Comforting God, wrap us in your presence in this time of reflection and remembrance. With these candles, help us to find your light, a light that will guide us day by day, step by step, as we try to live life fully and wholly. We thank you for holding us and never letting us go. We thank you for the gift of community, both alive with us and resting with the other saints in that great cloud of witnesses. Now comfort us, God. Encourage us, empower us, Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Amen. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Make me, mold me, fill me, use me, spirit of the living God, all afresh on me. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for your constant love and for the blessing of this evening. We know that even when we cannot see or feel you, Still, you are there with us. Help us to remember you and listen for your voice 
in the words of family, friends, and strangers. Kindle our hearts and awaken our hope that we may know you as you reveal yourself in the world and in our lives. Let the light of your Holy Spirit shine like the Advent wreath candles in the darkness, lighting the way on this solstice evening for all who feel despairing, lost, or forgotten. Grant that it may come to dwell so deeply in our hearts that when we leave this place, it may shine on for us and for those we meet along the way. Amen. Just want to say that some of us will go downstairs and have some cake and cookies, and some of you are just invited to stay on the Zoom if that's what you need. Please take the time you need. We'll leave it open for a while. And here now is the benediction. Go now into the night, knowing that you need not go alone. Go now into the night, knowing that the dawn is coming. Go now into the night, knowing that love endures forever. Go now into the night, knowing that the Christ child will come. Go now and may the peace of Jesus Christ, the peace that surpasses all understanding, be with you now and forever. Amen. <laughs> You walk in the light, my God, beautiful light. Come where the dew drops of mercy shine bright. Shine all around us by day and by night. Jesus, the light of the world. Amen. Thank you. 